Okay, it's sounding fine, folks. And basically, we're looking at what's going to end up being either. I just have too much info here that these are planets, and what we're looking at is here. So, and I'll pump up real fast. I'm gonna. What I'm trying to do is knock the clicks down as much as possible. I know the clicks are a pain in the ass, but it, it's the idea that I've got to get over to this stuff, and I just don't have a mic on me right now. Uh, I've been do. I'm off doing some stuff, and this is just great footage from down in Palau. That is the sun. No one's going to doubt that that's the sun. We have planetoid objects between us and the sun because of the shadows, and you're going to absolutely see what I'm talking about right here. I'm going to get a 9.99. And yes, I've made. Th this is going to be the third video, and it's just astounding. You can start to see the shadows already right here. Now I can't point when I get the magnifier up. Okay, you can see the shadows. Okay, and the actual factual as I keep going over and we've got what we've got up here at the footage is basically I don't need to pop into my this you always can trust me on factual data I tell you the facts all the time truth is people's brainwash okay this is actual factual data okay, I stick with the facts that's why nobody wants me in a court of law because the idea that I have the facts okay so we get in at 999 on our shot here from Navy, fresh, the dates and time. We'll take the magnifier here real fast too. Okay, and I'm trying to keep the clicks down as much as possible, so I'm gonna freeze. I'll move around, you'll see that we're at the sun. We'll go around the sun here real fast, because the pointer I can't, I'll just go down I guess, and you can see that's the right hand side of the sun, and it's in front of the sun, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna keep going in on these more than likely planets, or no matter what, they are end up being stars. Now, the distance what we're going to be able to do is going to be really, I, there, I was finally able to, so now I know how to get away from our clicks. And I got the quick click. And I, more than likely, that's a planet from Dalgon, sure, right there. Okay, and it's in front of the sun. And I just don't see how they can have miniature stars they're going to all of a sudden emit to. Now, the distance is what we're going to sound you because what we're going to do is we're going to get out of this real fast. Okay, and now we're going to go back to Palau at our shot here, and we're going to start clicking in on this. And then we're going to come back out, and I'll show you the size of the sun. And we got our the shadows. The shadows is what blows everybody away, that no one's going to be able to argue it. And we're going to have the angle and the distance, and it's between the sun. And then I'll take you to Soho, and you'll realize uh, the sun. And there, it's just, just astounding. I mean, that you can see the shadows on each one of them. All right, and then we're gonna we're gonna minus out. Okay, and then we're gonna just get rid of the magnifier. We're gonna go up to the corner. You're gonna see that we're at the shot. I'll take you down real fast. Okay, we're at Palau. Diemeyer Station. There's the deals. So I don't go away at all. Matter of fact. I will basically just hit here, boom, we'll go to 400, I'll go up real fast, there's what we were looking at, I'll pop in again real fast at it, 999, matter of fact, I just grab the magnifier, we'll start from 400 and I'll just start the magnifier in. In the shadows is what blows everybody's gonna blow everybody's argument out of the out of the just completely out of the water. You have no argument at all. Now is this 88 years of what I've always been saying that the idea that we're going through the dirty 30 drought? Now we don't we air seed a lot now. The wind and everything like that. It's basically air seed. When we weren't doing the agricultural right thing before for what Mother Nature does. And now I gotta find us here in this shot because I've zoomed up on 400 the first time I've ever done this on 400 with trying to get and find our object again. So I'm up in the corner, I come over, we should find it. There we are, okay. And I know it's like an hour and 15, or half, you know, 45 minutes now of filming this, three videos, but this is just, remember the earth was flat, right? Well, this stuff is in front of the sun. And you cannot argue with it being it's in front of the sun. That's the sun right there. 
shooting from Palau. And that's what we were zoomed in on, okay? I can even go in custom 999 real fast. So the distance between us and the sun and then the size of Earth and then what the size of what these are no matter what, and, and it's in front of the sun. I.e., it's in front of the sun because I can take it over to here. And you also see on the rotations of this stuff, all right? So, and then we take the magnifier out here, okay? Go over, and I'll come, I'll end up zooming down from the same shot, and we can keep going in on this. And it's there. There's no camera doing nothing. Now the magnifier is going to be in the way a lot, but I can kind of point with it. I mean, you can't miss it. Boom. There's three of them. And then we also have what we've always been seeing there, too. So there's definitely something. And it's huge in size because we'll give you the size here and the distance and so forth. Uh, I'll get rid of the magnifier. We'll go over to uh, there's Vesta. I had that earlier. Big deal. And then basically uh, five times. Earth is five times that size right there that it's showing you there. And then we, no matter what, it's between us and the sun. It's there. Okay. I'm at 999. I'll go to 400 real fast. I'll drop down to 125 real fast. It's there. This is between Earth and the Sun. We're at the South Pole. You're seeing it from Earth. Okay? They're not stars, they're not suns, because they're not giving us a heap of light. Okay? Those are planetoid objects, which is in the size, you've got to remember that the distance that, since we're catching this here, and this is correct, because this is at A, Earth is directly across from this. This is basically matches absolutely up and that's what we're zoomed in on and I can pop back up at 200 this is what exactly this here is exactly what we're seeing now there's massive distance just because I show you absolute fact the satellites are at the same AU distance of Earth from the Sun okay and there's Mars so these things are possibly as just just the same distance as Mars uh, they're there it's absolutely there. Is this 88 years through our solar system that come back around and the positionings are just right that we end up seeing this? And no matter what, you got it right there between there and the sun and you're at Antarctica. And the size, a uh, duh, the size, Earth is five times. You have to add it five times to get to be able to see Earth here compared to the sun. So the distance that you're seeing from Palau, and you remember, the cameras are up there the same distance as Earth is away. So this could be just a quarter IU from, this stuff is a quarter IU from the sun or uh, a little bit over a third of the distance, halfway? Is it halfway between us and the sun? This is, this is a great find, this is awesome. I don't give a, anybody tries to dis, disc me on this, this is, Total, factual, actual, right between your flipping eyeballs, okay? This stuff is there. It's very easy to do the, you don't even have to do the math on the distance. And our friends down there should be able to see this. And they should also honestly be able to give us, I'll just add 888. We'll go ahead and pull up the magnifier as you see I'm going through this. And once again, try to keep the clicking out. I know my thumb is probably even, and I got to do that to get it out of the way, but there you go. That's there. And then real quickly, we're there. Boom, there. Come down here, boom. And this is why I'm making three videos of it. I'm not playing though. I never have touched any of my pictures with anything except when I was showing you the magnetic lines and counting the planets, and we pretty much got it down, and we got more than 12 planets in our solar system for damn sure, and now way more than that, because this stuff is planets. That stuff is at a distance between the sun and Earth, 
right now, and it's and that's not that is not Mars that you're seeing up there, okay? Because I showed you recently Mars on the right hand side. This is Mercury right there, folks. Okay, and that's not Mercury that we're seeing in those shots. Okay, so no matter what, that's not Mercury. And if anybody tries to say it's Mercury, then there's a lot more than just Mercury up there, isn't it? And then the scientific will find if anybody tries to say that that's Mercury, then that's why I keep on saying all the time, why does Mercury look so damn big? Because it's the same flip in size as the moon, but it's closer to the sun. But no matter what, you're seeing all those different size objects right there. So, I'm going to get credited for finding it because NASA's not been, no astronomical thing has been keeping this a secret, right? This isn't no secret, right? It's not no secret, and it's an American find. I'm an American citizen, and I found this stuff, and I love the Nehemiah Research Facility and everything and all that video footage that they got for us, and we got this down there, okay? Out of this real fast, boom. Three videos being very repetitive, but this is an astounding find. That is the sun up there, and that is what we have found, okay? And this is basically, I can even hit start, I think, and it'll play the movie. It doesn't matter. This is, this is from, and then it's away, because that's what the deal is all the time. You never end up seeing it because it rotates so fast. Okay? The rotation of Earth and everything, and then when the sun's coming up and stuff like that, and then it pops out of our view. It's there. This is absolutely there. Okay? Actual factual. Remember, folks, they once said the Earth was flat. Remember? Okay? I know you're not old enough to remember that. If you are, you're going to a bunch of Social Security benefits coming to you. And uh, you better hurry up and grab them, because... So there's definitely, I mean, and we got to get out of this place. We just need to spread out because everybody's always fighting over a little bit of turf. And then you get buried in it. So the actual factual, this stuff is out there. And then I'm just going to cruise around with this here a little bit here. As you can see that it's there. Okay. And then I'll minus out. And I gotta move the magnifier, but that's what we were magnified in on. It's there. Popped at 400 real fast. Then I'll pop to 200. Now I'll run it all the way down to 125 real fast. We're there. That's what's there. It's there. Those are flipping planets because of the size, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what, because of the size. And it's between us and Earth. And yes, I was showing you this zoomed in shot from here. And basically, I'll just hit the magnifier again real fast here. Zoom in on that. And we were zoomed in on this stuff here. Okay. Trying to keep the clicking down in there. We're zoomed in on that stuff earlier because I started at 9.99. So I'll get out of there. And we pop to 100. And we were looking at that right there. Okay. It all matches up. What are you going to do, NASA? This stuff's there. Distance and size, it's absolutely not even arguable. Okay? And the size of this stuff more than likely could be the size of Earth or bigger. All right? And it's definitely bigger than Mercury because you can see it from the naked eye from down here on Earth. Okay? You wouldn't see Mercury like that. Okay? And you can't say it's Mercury because the idea that we've, we've zoomed in on it, it's not Mercury. So you're NASA and you knew it. Well, I'm an American and I knew it, and I found this stuff. What's a college got degree got to do with looking at stuff in space and getting spaceships into space? You just need to be a mechanic and a an scientist and an electrician and an engineer. There you go. Actual factual. Right between your nostrils. It's there. If you're NASA in, you know what you're going to do, NASA. Okay? More later, folks, but this is just the actual factual. Remember, the SOHO cameras are, are at an AU away, so when you're, at the, when you're at these NASA shots, that's a damn one. There's probably a quarter AU or more, at least maybe even a half AU between there. You see what I'm saying? 
because there's probably a quarter, quarter IU to the Venus right there in that shot. And then you